Hello and welcome to another Sinister Snacks. Where's the beef? Beef. I'm your host, Laura. I'm Joel. And we're the Newly Dead. We are the Newly Dead. And we are here with another snack, but it is not a chip review this time. No. What is it, Joel? It is plant-based jerky. Portobello mushroom. It's actually not plants. It's it's, it's mushrooms. I guess that's plant. It's plant. That's a fungus. It's a, he's a fun guy. He's a good guy to have at parties. I'm he's trying a not fun to, guy. Don't see. Don't look at my face. Don't look at his face. Don't look at his face. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Laura loves mushrooms. I'm not as uh, much of a mushroom guy. I'm gonna zoom out there. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> but I uh, have cooked with portobellos. I've cooked with mushrooms. I, I love the mushrooms pizzas and things. But what's got me curious is that this is a jerky replacement. It's roasted garlic and black pepper flavor. And we've done one other plant-based jerky to very much dissatisfaction, which if you didn't see it, there was a video about it. Go back in our catalog and you can find it. You can already smell um, it. But this one is from, who's the manufacturer? Savory Wild by Giorgio. Sounds pretty sh- It does say plant-based and vegan. Oh, okay. Well, that was sort of right. But there is no beef involved. It is uh, strictly mushroom and, oh, she's, I like that face. That smells like that good. that face again. Yeah, that wasn't a face. <laughs> You're making a weird. Face. I don't know how to make the, the face. Hmm. May I smell, smell it. Whoa! I open my nuts. In your nuts? I was gonna say my nose, and I was gonna say your something nuts. else, and it just came out my nuts. So anyway, apparently he's got nuts in his face. <laughs> so if you can't like I'm a bigger piece, don't look at my face. No, block the thing out. What? Yeah, there you go. Look now at that. You can see it. Look at that. It looks what? very jerkish. Yeah, he got a big piece. I did. All get a bigger mine piece. are tiny. Fine. Do you want to trade me? No. Oh, Stop that. You're, so, you're too nice to me. It's because I love you. I Why love are you too. growling? Yeah. Bailey's growling for something. He got reason. the only big piece, but this there. I'll eat this one. I'll eat Maltese. Okay. All right. Cheers, Cheers before, before you, you chew. chew. Oh, yeah. We do have to chew. It's still food. Anyway. So you just knocked the pillow off. Oh. It's chewy. Mm hmm. Like jerky. It's got the chew factor. Making my jaw click. And my salivary very grand glands are all grands? Up. You know, my grandparents' salivary glands. Grands. Sounds like a terrible movie. Let's watch Salivary Grams. Now hmm. Here's the problem with plant-based anything that's trying to be meat, jerky specifically. It doesn't work. Yeah, it does. Mm-mm. Disagree. All right. For those of you out there who like dried fruits, this tastes like a dried apricot or a dried Mushroom. something with it's savory instead of sweet even the aftertaste and the, as it starts to break down in your mouth with your with your salivary grams um it even has the flavor profile of a dried fruit um it is extremely chewy uh which you know jerky is typically very chewy so that's that's correct it, admittedly, it tastes better than the powered by plants or whatever mm-hmm. stuff that we tried. That was just not good at all. No bueno. This at least is delicious. Is moderately better. Mm. If you like mushrooms, you'll like these. Here, to be fair, let me try one more. I, I usually try three pieces. Of I can something. eat the whole bag. That one was a big piece, so I'll try just a a secondary one, just just to make sure. I think it's. Tastes like roasted garlic and black pepper. It tastes like savory dried apricots. It tastes like mushrooms. 100%. They taste like dried mushrooms. There's a lot in here, too. I feel like I'd snack on them all night. 80 calories for... Half a bag. Half a... Mm Mm-hmm. A three... A a third... One package is 160. Or 160 for the whole deal. All right. So, uh, one out of ten. I don't mind dried fruit. I'm not a fan, but I don't dislike it. But 
I give them credit for for what they've accomplished. Do I like it? No, but I think they did far better than the other people. So based on that, I'm going to give it three out of ten. I'm going to give it a seven. I, that's what I saw in my brain for you. Yeah, I like a seven. Brain, we're mm-hmm. muy simpatico. <clears throat> I like these. I like mushrooms, though. She does. It's a thing. And I feel like if you're wanting to try jerky, but you are a vegan or you're vegetarian, or you and you like meat, mushrooms, because not all vegans and vegetarians like mushrooms. It's true. I'm looking at you, Caitlin, my coworker. That's true. Um, she she always says vegetarian. they always try to serve people mushrooms when you're like a vegetarian, and she's like, I don't like mushrooms, though. Like, why do I have to like mushrooms? Because I'm a vegetarian. Because, you know, there's a limited amount of, I don't know, that they think that there's only so many things they can eat, which yeah. is not true, but... It is very untrue. There are probably more things that they can eat than anything else. But, I like it. I thought she would. Obviously. I'm, I'm glad she does, because she's still much. <laughs> but, um, if you would like to find more of this, check out our YouTube channel for all of our videos. Also, we are now on Tingler Television with the Dollar Store Drive-In. You can catch us there. Apparently, oh, and Bailey's got the hiccups. You can catch us there, um, 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Wednesday on Wednesday nights. Night, correct. For um, our latest and greatest film reviews of the Dollar Store Drive-In variety. You can also find us where? Thenewlydeads.com. Oh, did you oh. say that? Oh, yeah, we are. We, you can find us at thenewlydeads.com. Mm-hmm. Uh, or we have all of our artwork and prints and... Uh, Pyrography, and I think I already talked about that in the beginning, maybe? No. <clears throat> Art, pint glasses, all kinds of stuff. You can find it, and uh, it also has all of our socials and whatnot, so it links to all of our other sites. And uh, at the end of April? The Castle Chaos Multicon. Yay! Is that all right? It's in um, Oregon, Illinois, at Stronghold yes. Castle. Yep. It is going to be phenomenal. You can come meet us in person if you'd like. We'll have stuff to sell. Uh, we'll have, have ourselves to, with us. to, yeah, if you got a snack you want to bring us to try or um, something and just want to come and, you know, shake our proverbial money makers. That's not what you want to do. That's her job. Um, but anyway, you can come hang out, say hello. We'll be there along with a ton of other stuff, April 29th and 30th. Uh, tickets are now available. Uh, just look up on Facebook. You can find the Castle Chaos Multicon event page, and there is links to all of that, as well as on our individual pages. You can find it on the New Events page as well. Yeah. So come visit us. Come, come, one and all. Here, here. I don't know where that came from. Mm. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>